but am I somewhat, in, in, in your expert opinion, do you think I'm too close to the fact that we are going to win in the end and that I have a lot of faith because I'm deeper into this? And, and is that distorting my vision, in your opinion, that so many others aren't awake yet or are going deeper into the control? Uh, and so and so I'm skewing my view uh, because I know the New World Order is already lost because they don't control the entire universe. Or I mean, do you get the point I'm making? Yeah, I, I, I've never doubted that it would turn out fine in the end. Um, but the nature of the manipulation and the programming means that um, a lot of people have got to go a long way down the road before they actually see it. And it's a, a case of how deeply programmed you are before you, 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 you actually see it and, and, and start to realize what's happening. Um, what I've seen over the last uh, 20 years is an exponential curve without any question of people who are starting to get it. They're starting to get it in bigger and bigger and bigger numbers. And what I find interesting is they're starting to get it at higher levels immediately. Um, from from a, a, a being in the program to to seeing well outside of the program is taking very little time for some people now. Um, there is something going on, and the, the first book I ever wrote on the, these subjects was nearly twenty years ago, called Truth Vibrations, and it was um, named Truth Vibrations because it was based on the fact that, that I was understanding at the time that there was a, a vibrational change coming that was going to act like an alarm clock. It was going to wake them up. It was going to tease open their minds so consciousness could enter. And at the time, of course, I'm thinking, well, there's no evidence of this whatsoever. And there wasn't for a few years. But with the turn into the 21st century, I'm seeing it happening more and more and more. And it needs to happen. This, this is, this is the, the, the way we're going to turn this around. But they're going to... Uh, push it, uh, obviously, uh, as much as they can uh, to, 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 to get their structure in place. But I, I do sense um, uh, a feeling of, of increasing panic because every day they, they take to do it, more and more people are waking up. And I'm, I'm very optimistic, not that there's not going to be some enormous, real big challenges uh, to come, uh, but, but I'm, I'm getting more and more optimistic. And, you know, we it's a phrase I use um, from time to time. Life tends to give us our greatest gifts brilliantly disguised as our worst nightmares. You know, sometimes what appears to be our worst nightmare turns out to be our greatest gift, like massive ridicule for me in the early 1990s right up to, you know, almost the year 2000. I went through incredible ridicule in Britain. But it set me free because it set me free of concern about what people thought of me, which allowed me to open my mind and allow consciousness in. And some of these challenges, you know, which we don't like, I mean, who does, are actually going to um, awake a lot of people up and set them free. There's a line in a song uh, which goes, um, uh, freedom's just another word for nothing left to lose. And, you know, w when we think we've got something to lose, that reptilian brain survival mechanism is, is, is controlling us. Oh, my goodness, yes, anything. I don't want to lose this, anything. But when you lose it, you, you, then you go, well, hold on a second. What have I actually lost? This is okay. I can deal with this. And actually, life's nicer. Isn't it funny that people, I talk to so many people um, who lived through the Second World War in, in Britain who say life was much nicer during the war because people were nicer to each other and, and, and all the rest of it. They, they never had much. And they were helping each other because they never had much in ways that as soon as the war was over, every man for himself, all that, all that stopped. And my goodness me, as it, as it stopped now. And it also made them enjoy things more because they had less... Uh they smelled the roses. They smelled the roses because they thought they didn't know how, how long the roses were going to be there to be smelled. And, and you know, there's so many challenges, uh, Alex, which and, and I've had some big ones in my life. We all have. When I look back, I think I didn't like it at the time, but I wouldn't change a thing because I am what I am, not despite that, but to a large extent because of it. And well, we, there's if that, we see uh... that. If we see that, if we, if, we, if we experience these challenges from that perspective rather than, oh, my God, reptilian brain, then not only are we going to um, uh, get through them with less pain and, and, and all the rest of it, we're actually going to think straight in a way that's going to allow us to get through them in a much more effective way. Absolutely. And the point I was going to add is that so many people in these pyramidal power structures, and I'd like you to speak to this, they are just as imprisoned as lowly little minions totally. of the system. And more and more I'm talking to people that think of themselves as the elite, and they're beginning to realize 
this is a prison. They're beginning to realize they're drinking sodium fluoride. Their kids are drinking it. Exactly. They're beginning to realize that, 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 that this system affects everybody. And they're beginning to realize that the television and the culture and the dumbing down is taking their children from them and destroying their own destiny. So I'd like you to speak to that. And then I want to bring up Rolling Stone magazine that I just happened to see laying there on the commons table at uh, the Emmis building where I was doing the Sunday sh radio show, syndicated show. I want to break this down, what Ray Kurzweil is saying. And we've got our vision of the future, liberty, freedom, you know, dynamic human spirit, uh, and a new renaissance, you know, to the power of a trillion versus, versus their renaissance, a, a very dark renaissance in their own words. They just say that it's beautiful, but clearly it's, it's uh, quite ugly. But I mean, can you speak to the point I just made? Yeah, this is a, a, a point I, I make as often as I can because uh, we go back to the, uh, the, the the sheep policing the herd, uh, the sheep policing themselves. Because when you're talking about people in full awareness of this agenda and in full support of advancing it, you're talking about a, a dramatically few people compared with the global population. You're certainly not looking at enough to administer the institutions of control um, that, that we see across global society. So you need uh, people in your target population to um, do the administration for you. This is why when you you look at the pyramid uh, structure uh, of these organizations and these uh, uh, secret societies, whatever, you're looking at the few at the top in full awareness of what it's all about. And as you go further, further down the pyramid, you, 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 you each step down knows less and less and less and less about the big picture, only their part in it. And so they've got right across the system, people in dark suits and and, and their like, who are administering this system and are um, uh, welded to it in terms of their uh, uh, subordination to it. Oh, don't don't rock the boat. Oh, don't don't you know step out of line. Don't say anything. You they shouldn't. get to dominate those under yeah. them, and they get dominated from those above them. It's a psycho system. Yes, it is. And the, 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 what we need to do this is a very important area is to get those people to actually again look around them take a deep breath and just look at it again and by connecting dots um, you can uh, let people who are in those systems realize how their dot connects with everyone else's because stopping them realizing that is how the whole system works so people make their daily contribution to a, uh, a control system not realizing that their dot is adding to other dots to make the control system and and it's it's so important that those people understand whether they're in uniform or whether they're in, in, in dark suit professions that their children are going to have to live in the world that they are helping fundamentally to introduce. You know, all this legislation that is even written and and administered around the world to build this police uh, state is done by people who are themselves and their children and grandchildren are going to be subjected to that uh, police state that they're helping to build. They're and talk about a fraud. For their own families, you know, and, and they need to start stepping out of that pyramid because when they do and refusing to, to uh, uh, play a part in it, because when they do, the pyramid collapses because they're holding it up. Just Let like me throw a point in here, government. David. Exactly. Let me throw a point in. I mean, to talk about how it's all a facade and all a matrix illusion, look at the world banking system out of fiat currency uh, with a handful of less than 15 families who rule the planet because they bought off governments to say that they issued the the backing of the money. I mean, it's all just a fraud. And then out of that, what they're doing right now economically, trying to bankrupt things. So we have to defend uh, depend on the state and have to be under their control looks like a desperate gamble. Yeah, we have to say, we have to say, no, we're not building our own prison anymore. And then something fantastic happens. We stop building our own prison, and the next thing is the prison isn't being built, and there is no prison. Look how many people work for the banking system and administer it and make it happen compared with the number of people that own it. It's fantastic. David Ike, let's come back and talk about solutions. Then at the bottom of the hour, start taking phone calls. Acolablue.com is the premier atmospheric water generator grabs the moisture right out of the air seven and a half gallons a day with her smaller unit 
very affordable, then passes it through seven filters, including carbon and reverse osmosis, neutral pH, no pollutants or toxins, absolutely the best water you've ever had. Literally, drink it. 800-691-6043, 800-691-6043, or acolablue.com. How do you spell that? E-C-O-L-O, blue. Dot com, acolablue.com or banners up on infowars.com and prisonplanet.com.